Hello, fight fans. Thanks for joining us at MMA Insider. Before we get rolling with today's news, show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing. Now let's uncover the latest happenings in MMA. Starting off, Chael Sonnen axes foolish hopes for a Conor McGregor UFC comeback after Michael Chandler's recent booking. Moving on, Chael Sonnen suggests John Jones hinting at retirement after UFC 309 is simply a marketing ploy. Lastly, Tom Aspinall gives cheeky answer to Dana White's baddest man in the room, praise of John Jones. Chael Sonnen believes Conor McGregor is no longer interested in a UFC comeback after Michael Chandler's new fight booking. McGregor's ongoing hiatus fuels speculation over whether or not he'll return to fight again. He was supposed to headline UFC 303 against Chandler before withdrawing due to a toe injury. In recent days, Chandler accepted a fight with former UFC lightweight champion Charles Oliveira in November. He elected to take the Oliveira fight following a three-year wait for McGregor, stemming back to UFC 281. While Sonnen is intrigued by Chandler versus Oliveira, he believes McGregor's UFC comeback attempt is officially over. Here is what he said. I don't know what to make of Conor. We're looking foolish at this point by continuing to act as though he's going to come back. The truth is, the night he went down broken in two against Dustin, it was unlikely he was going to return. When he got other opportunities, selling the whiskey brand and finding himself in movies with Jake Gyllenhaal, it was unlikely that Conor was going to return. He got a stubbed pinky toe that may or may not be broken and may or may not belong to him. When he walked away from a press conference in his hometown and didn't show up to UFC 303, it was unlikely. Even baseball tells you three strikes, you're out. At some point, we all have to accept this and move on. McGregor's last fight was against Dustin at UFC 264, falling by first round doctor's stoppage. He coached opposite Chandler on the Ultimate Fighter 31. McGregor versus. Chandler could potentially take place next year, regardless of UFC 309. Meanwhile, Chandler, Sonnen, and fight fans around the world have lost hope in another McGregor fight. Chael Sonnen suggests John Jones hinting at retirement after UFC 309 is simply a marketing ploy. Jones defends his heavyweight title versus former champion Stipe Miocic in the November 16 main event at Madison Square Garden in New York. Jones recently reiterated that Stipe will likely be his last fight, but Sonnen isn't buying it. He believes it's worth noting that Jones specifically used the words more than likely. Here is what he said. I'm watching this. Oh, John has grabbed onto that retirement idea. He did not mean it. It was completely insincere. It wasn't even his idea. Somebody else said it. He heard it, thought it might be good to go with. One could be he heard somebody else say it, thought it might be good marketing. He never comes out and does anything to try for marketing, and he went for it. Another one is just the same reason you did things like that when you were a child, so that somebody else would tell, oh no, hey, whoa, we want you, you're great. UFC CEO Dana White confirmed that interim heavyweight champion Tom Aspinall will be the official backup for John Jones versus Stipe Miocic. UFC heavyweight interim champion Tom Aspinall makes fun of Dana White and John Jones's relationship dynamics. Tom Aspinall has finally made peace with the fact that John Jones will not fight him later this year. Dana White recently made the official announcement of Jones vs. Steep heavyweight title clash at UFC 309. While disappointing for the interim champion, Aspinall's spirits were high. It was clearly visible in his latest jibe towards the heavyweight champion. Dana White has long held the opinion that John Jones is the baddest man in the history of combat sports. White frequently uses the scenario that says Jones will leave a room first filled with the most dangerous fighters after beating them all. Aspinall was asked humorously if he had ever been in a room with Jones and White in a recent video. Here is what he said. Depends what's going on in there. What are they up to, Dana and John? Because I might leave if them two are up to something. Aspinall's cheeky comments were a reference to the running joke in the MMA community regarding Jones and White's relationship. Over the last few months, the CEO pushed the narrative that Jones is the pound for pound number one over others. This repeated glazing has resulted in fight fans brutally roasting White for overhyping. Tom Aspinall made a lot of effort to secure his shot at the title unification with John Jones, ranging from strong performances to repeated provocations. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Your dedication and support fuel our passion to bring you the latest and greatest in the MMA world. If you enjoyed today's news, please give us a thumbs up and share it with fellow MMA fans. Remember to subscribe to stay in the loop with daily MMA updates. We've got a lot of exciting news, interviews, and analysis coming your way every single day. Your engagement helps us grow and serve the MMA community even better. Once again, thank you for being an integral part of our daily MMA journey.